What's up? How are you guys today? As most of you know, I've done many videos on eating raw animal foods for specific health nutrition benefits, mainly testicles and caviar, but we now have every gland you would ever want on Frankie's Free Range Meat, and you want to apply some specific precautions to these foods so you don't overdo them. The overarching logic is that these are relatively inaccessible and powerful foods from a nature perspective. Eating more than one adrenal gland or testicle per day, even per week, is pretty questionable. You're getting bioactive hormones and tissues that your body can use for days to weeks at a time by just having them once. And I've read in books about how each member of the tribe would get a tiny nibble of the adrenal gland, not half a pound of them uh, delivered straight to your door. And that's what we're going to be doing today. The adrenals, which produce six different hormones, aldosterone that regulates kidney function, cortisol, which plays a role in digestion and metabolism, the male and female sex hormones, androgens and estrogen, as well as the two types of adrenaline stress hormones. And there's a reason that adrenal glands are usually very expensive and the most sought after. It's because of that hormonal profile. But if you're interested in any of them, if you go to frankiesearrangement.com, you can click on each of the products and read more about those specific health benefits. So this is how you guys will receive it. Half a pound of adrenal glands. And I also have a single goat testicle here, but uh, we have many different types available on the website, guys, check them out. So we're doing the testicle for testosterone and the adrenals for all of the other hormones. So the adrenal gland has a little bit of fat on it, which I usually trim off. So when you cut the adrenal gland open, you have the outside and then the inside that each produce the different sets of hormones, but you, you know, you can't really separate them. So what I do is the same as you guys have seen me done with the, the testicles before. I chop it up very tiny. And just for comparison, not all of these are the same size. You know, some of them are a little bit bigger than others, but especially if you're starting out, I would even do maybe like half of this amount. Just do a very, very tiny amount. See how you react to it. And then you could always increase it. In the case of these glandulars, less is definitely more. You know, same with the testicle. I wouldn't really, I don't even do half of a testicle. You know, a lot of people are stuck in this mindset of adding things and excessiveness, which is, is really the opposite of what nutrition should be. We really just want to replace things that we're having issues with. And, you know, someone like me with liver dysfunction and all these modern estrogens in the food and water supply, it makes sense to, to try to replace some hormones. Since I've had the testicles before and I know how I react to them, I'm okay with mixing them with the adrenals today. But you should really just keep it to one glandular every day. See how you react. And then, yeah, maybe in the future you can combine them. But you want to make sure that you feel good taking each of them. Because if you take like a thyroid glandular and you feel crazy, then omit that one and try the other ones. Don't just take all of them at once because then you can't see which ones you actually need. So we have maybe half a teaspoon worth of adrenal gland. And I think it's going to be two tablespoons of the testicle. Man, nothing like eating raw animal organs at 6 a.m. before you go to work, huh? So the only other thing I'm going to take this morning is half a teaspoon of masticum. And this is to prevent any sort of bacteria in the stomach from kind of digesting or absorbing uh, these glandulars and hormones. Because what you want is for your body uh, to break them down with enzymes and absorb them into the bloodstream. So that's why we're taking the masticum. So normally in the morning I would take vitamin C, magnesium, maybe some B vitamins. Today I'm not doing that. You don't want to bomb your stomach 
with all of those vitamins and then the glands, you want to kind of space them out. Uh, I also have to start really focusing and doing my uh, liver detox smoothie with uh, the flextrose and the fiber. But, you know, if you start having any sort of digestive issues or feeling weird, it's probably because you're doing something crazy and unnecessary and unrealistic. So hopefully this helps clarify the amounts of these products that you guys should be using. As I said, as much as I would like to, you know, send smaller amounts of these glands, you know, they're not crazy, crazy expensive on my end, and this is more realistic. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed these products. Hopefully they have you feeling a lot better. And uh, maybe uh, we'll do some more blood work and stuff in the future to show you guys that uh, these will actually change your blood levels of certain hormones. So you guys can go to frankeatsyourageme.com to check out all the glandulars as well as frank-stefano.com for all of my other businesses. Some really interesting products. And uh, just by browsing through the websites, you guys can learn a lot about things you might want to be doing for your health. So as always, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining, guys, and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.